Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your newborn channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again after quite a long break. Um, on today's video, we are going to start a series on um, how to use um, this um, is it a motor car 2018 CV3D or something to um, plot profile alignment and uh, um, is it um, volume computation and so many other stuff you know um it actually would i call it for the purpose of learning it's actually a long video however when you want to work on it like if you have a data you want to process to get information related to that you might not spend that long although it still takes time so for the sake of um, or for the purpose of learning we are going to um, split the video into series and then um, we'll try our best to break it down um, as usually as we as we do yeah um, so on today's video we are going to consider quite a minute aspect of it it's not actually minute but um, it's actually the beginning so we are going to start from there so that's um, how to bring in your point that's how to bring in your point you know um the data we acquire for um processing or the data we acquire so that we can um, process to get um, the information we talked about um, with, um alignment um, volume um, profile um, whatever the case is uh, most times is the eastern northern and i yes so we are going to see how maybe you've um, downloaded it from your instrument either a total station or differential gps or even you use them um, what do you call it your tilde light and your level is actually quite tedious as well so you've arranged it on um, excel and you want to you want to um bring it to this particular software for processing so that's what we are going to show to you so there's actually a data we are working with or would use on this um, series so let's see the data i think um, this is the data we are going to work with on this particular series so we can see that um, the data has already been what i call it sorted we have our eastern northern height and let's call this a um, description or yeah let's just call it description so we have our eastern northern height and description so this is actually the data what i call it the primary data you would need to carry out that um, particular survey uh, data processing so now we are going to show you how to move this data to this um, to this environment or to this software so that it, we can be able to do it we can be able to create surface point group alignment corridor because these are the things we are going to do corridor what else um, um is the assembly again yes i think we are going to do assembly and um, fissure line alignment profile profile view and so many things so you can see that um, using this particular software and perhaps our own approach because i believe that there are other softwares um, what do you call it um, land development and the rest of that that you can use or we can actually use however using this particular one we are going to go through those steps now we've actually created um, enough ground let's now go to work so we've shown you that um, this the what I call it these are the data will look your eastern northern and the height and then this is the software we are going to use which we've actually been using on this um, channel so now the first thing is now we come to point now you can see there is point here and we have point creation tools right and actually when you come to this um, tool space you can also see points again are we together you can see points again and you can actually when you right click you create on you click on create rather hope you got it 
but there are two would i call it there are two ways to get to that point we have points you click on points and then sorry you click on points and you go to the what the point creation tools or you come to this um, tool space you just you right click and then you click on what you click on it now we are still on this particular I call it um, dialogue or so we want to do what we want to import points we want to import points we want to import those uh, the data we are going to work with so you click on it import point and it takes you to this um, interface or this um, pop up where uh, yeah just um, comes up and for you to select your file specify your point file format and you have a preview of um, the imported point now um, there are so many things we need to understand here let's say a few things not quite much there are a few things we need to understand that these are different point format and um, if you look at it we have eastern northern and height format limited we have an um, external project data point and quite some others we have pens that point eastern northern and height description which is space delimited now we are going to see what all these things mean so now let's go back to our data let's come back to our data this is our data we want to work with right so we are going to copy we are going to copy this data now what do i mean by copying them um, normal excel so you are like and then copy all so what i'm using now is a um, control shift and that um that could that tab the lower tab but lower tab but so i've highlighted everything and I would have to copy that one. Yes, country C. Copy them at all try that country C. So um we are now going to open okay. Let me do this. Uh, okay. Then um, we just paste it here. So now this is actually space delimited. That means it is separated by space. Which means it's separated by space. However, the challenges with this space is that it's actually the space we imported from or we exported from Excel rather. So most times it's not, it does not actually define the space that will be recognized on other softwares. So to um, what I call it to to avoid error, we are going to change it to comma. So how do we change it to comma? All the spaces are equal. All the spaces you see here, they are equal. So you just click on one of the spaces, you highlight, and then you copy. So what do I mean by that? Let's say we are working on that space. We've highlighted the space. We copy Ctrl C. Then we find that place. We find what? We find this particular space we copy. And then we replace it with what? We replace it with a comma. We replace it with a comma. And then we replace all. We replace all. Are we together? So instead of seeing, um, would I say those tab or those spaces, we are now seeing a uh, we are now seeing commas. Are we together? Good. So we are going to save this. Um, we are going to save this as um, okay. There is another file related to it as this. So we are going to save this as an um, ENT SS. And another thing you need to pay attention to is the type. It should be on TXT. So we save. Then we want to be minimized. Now we'll come back to this um, our software we are working with. 
So we are now going to select that file we just saved. We are going to do what? We are going to select that file we just saved. Now, sometimes you can actually um, say specify your file format here before you select the file. Or you select the file and it automatically indicates that yes, the file you selected has a format here. Then you can see the preview. And in some other cases, by the time you select the file, you will see that um, there will be is it error sign that um, the file you selected is not supported or something. So let's see what this file we just created uh, in that particular format. Let's see the uh, let's see if the format is actually supported here. So we do what we click on this plus, which is actually the add file. Click here to browse one or more files. So we click on it, and it will take us to where we have um, actually stored or let's say where our points are or where our files are so this is actually the one we are working with them png here so we do what we open right good so we open let's see i think it's working here it worked so you can see now comma delimited eastern northern and height as we said earlier that um what we want to do was we wanted to replace those spaces with comma so that by the time we come to this um come to this software to work with it we would identify it as what at and um, we will identify it as command limited instead of space delimited or any other file format you know you can decide to try the other ones but for the purpose of this video we are using this are we together Good. So, having done that, let's now see the next step. So, we've actually imported the files. Uh, this shows that it was successful, uh, and then the rest of it. Uh, we say this is a preview. Yeah, this is the Eastern Northern Night. And since there is no other thing like uh, right for the description, or we didn't copy the left, left, right, right, and the rest of that. We we'll see what we say. Okay. So we can try to um, close this and then and try to close that. So the next thing we want to do now is how do we then see those points with them with potted? So we say the zoom extent. Say Z points are on your you know, this is actually the first thing you need to do. Okay. So it's not like um, we've spent so many time or so much time that way trying to explain this to you. Because where the one let's where we I used to have challenges while I was learning it was uh, number one, understanding the file format. How to okay, the first thing was how to save it to a compatible file format. Because by the time you have your data in Microsoft Excel or Excel, your spreadsheet, and you want to move it to either Notepad or preferably Notepad, and then you want to move it from Notepad to the software, I used to have issues during those stages. So I think I took my time, I learned from uh, my boss who taught me, and then I am able to understand it, so I'm trying to give you exhaustively the way I learned it, so that if you are making such a mistake, you won't make it. And when you want to start afresh, you won't have to go through the stress I went through for you to understand it. So the first thing is your data arranged in Eastern Northern Heights description, or as the case may be. All you need is your Eastern Northern Heights most times. And then the next thing is you move it to or you can actually move it from Excel as well. As well. However, I'm always emphatic that for the purpose of our video, we do it the way we do it. So you move it to Excel, to Notepad, copy it to Notepad, and you see that um, the separation is not comma, and we need a um, comma separation or comma delimitation or whatever it is. So you find you will find and replace all your spaces with comma, then you save it. You come to point create points 
then import and then import then you get this stage now there are so many other things we are going to do upon importing it but we are going to stop here on this particular video we'll let you get them exhaustively we'll be taking it as we said from the beginning one step at a time so that then we don't um, shook ourselves in quite long because this video too is a bit long now don't mind me i just love explanation and then i just love yeah thanks for coming to class i hope you found a um, solution to this particular solving sweat problem yeah solving solution <laughs> I hope you find them um, solutions to this particular sort of problems. Thanks for having me in class. I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, keep being a good and um, dramatic engineer. Have a nice time. Bye.